Hey guys, it's Ozuman, and today I want to talk about an event that kind of happened to me recently where I noticed that my Japanese ability had kind of dropped through my study of Slovak and stuff. And since I'd taken away from learning, taken time away from learning Japanese and put it into learning Slovak, doing MMA and all that, I'd noticed that my Japanese ability in terms of speaking had dropped quite a significant amount over the last few weeks. But before we get into that story, I want to talk a little bit about language attrition. Now what language attrition is, is it's the regression of your language ability. So normally, yeah, when you're immersing into all of that, your language ability is going to get better and better and better, right? You know, of course, it's going to be getting better the more time you put into it. However, if you take time away from it without putting the necessary work in to maintain your ability, it will regress quite rapidly. Depending on how good you are, like if you're at like my level, it'll regress, but it'll be easy to get back. And you'll regress a little bit and it'll, it'll be a really slow process. Your listening won't get worse or anything. It'll just be your speaking and stuff, get a little bit worse, but it's easy to get back. But if you're an absolute beginner, you know, you're going to lose all of your ability very, very quickly. So in general, yeah, when you're learning a language, it goes up and down, but it'll kind of generally trend up in terms of your output ability and just language ability in general. So yeah, your listening and all that will generally go directly up, you know, in a straight line, it'll just get better and better. But when you're talking about output and stuff like that, it kind of goes like this, it'll go up and then, you know, it'll shoot down, it'll go up, but it'll, it'll keep dropping and all that but it will gen generally trend upwards, even though there's peaks and dips. However, if you take time away from the language, it will, keep, it will drop and it will get worse and worse and worse. This will be for all different reasons, you know? It might be because, you know, you spent more time one week speaking the language than another, or you spent more time listening in that week than the other, or you're just having a good week or something like that. It'll go up and down. Or maybe you went to Japan for two weeks and it shot up, and then when you come back, it'll go down a bit, but it won't drop to the level it was before it'll go down a bit and then get better and that kind of thing. It generally trends upwards, you know what I mean? But you have peaks and drops depending on what you're doing and like depending on how much time you're spending with Japanese and all that. But if you take a significant time, amount of time away from the language, it will dramatically drop. So say you take time away from the language or you know, you go do something else, you know, you take a little break or something like that, or you're not as focused in from it, you still gotta be doing the necessary amount to maintain it, otherwise it will drop. Of course, this amount that's required to maintain it is gonna be significantly less than it would be to continue to just getting better and better and better. So you're just trying to maintain it try, rather than trying to get better. So the amount of time you have to put in will be much, much less. Say you're doing four hours a day to get a lot better. You might have to put 20 minutes a day in to maintain your level, you know, 20 minutes a day of listening and do a bit of speaking and stuff like that. So to get into my experience of what happened, what happened yet yeah, is that I just got off the phone with one of my friends, I was speaking Japanese. And while I was speaking, I was thinking, you know, it, I feel real clunky today speaking, like my speaking, just isn't flowing as well as it usually would. It didn't feel as easy to speak. I'm sure from the person I was talking to, they wouldn't have noticed a thing. I would have just sound normal. But for me speaking it, I, I noticed a significant difference in terms of how easy I could get it out, how, and I, how, what kind of level I felt like my expressions were at in terms of the accuracy of describing exactly what I was thinking and putting it out. You know, when I speak, I, I generally use things that I know are correct. And if I don't know how to put my thoughts into something that's correct, I just don't say it. You know, I just say things that I know is correct. So when I speak, sometimes I'll have the ability to say much more complicated things in ways that I know are, is correct than other times. Like this time I was speaking and I was speaking real basic sentences and all of that. And I just couldn't put in the accuracy that I normally would have in my speech. And it felt much more clunky than usual. And I sat back and I thought, wow, that's weird. Like usually I don't have stuff like this happen. Like generally over the past four years, it's just been shooting up like a fucking rocket, you know? Like I haven't really had much stuff like that. It has gone up and down little bits, but there was never a dramatic drop like that. And I was thinking, okay, that's kind of weird. I wonder where this has come from. And then I suppose what it actually comes from is the fact that I've spent a lot, all of my time now doing mainly MMA, right? I'm training my MMA. I've got school and things like that, part-time work, whatever. But, you know, mainly doing MMA and things like that. And the time I'm not spending in that, I'm learning Slovak, not Japanese. I'm doing it all into Slovak. So the amount of time I'm spending with Japanese is like, what, five minutes a day? 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it's, it's barely anything compared to the hours that I used to put in, even just for entertainment. Because now if I'm going for em entertainment, it's not Japanese. It's mainly, you know, Slovak, because in my head I think, okay, I need to get better at Slovak, so I'll listen to that. And then if I'm not doing that, so I have a break or something, I'll be listening to English because I'm watching MMA YouTube, you know, some Chao Sun or something, like watching that. So the amount of time I spend watching Japanese YouTube is relatively small, you know, 5, 10 minutes a day. For, and this has been for the last few weeks. And so I've done this for the last few weeks and I've really noticed quite a dramatic dip in my ability to, you know, speak in a real fluent kind of quick way, like I normally would have a real sharp. So this has got me thinking, you know, I have had like little things like this, not to this degree, but it drops every now and then. Actually, no, I changed that. There was one time that it was way worse at the beginning of this year. That's when I was like, not the beginning of this year, the beginning of 2021, I just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> like I couldn't care about Japanese at that point. I was just doing whatever, 
doing, you know, MMA school or that kind of stuff. Wasn't really thinking about it. And my speaking went to like shit because I just never used it ever. I barely listened or anything like that. But then from that point, even though I had dramatically dropped, my listening never got worse. My listening was always completely fine. That's only ever gone up. Like I kind of said, you know, your listening kind of goes up, your speaking goes up and down and all that. So my speaking was trending up and down, but my listening was completely fine the whole time. But I noticed since I'd already gotten to a certain level, when I went back and then spent, I kind of freaked myself out, you know, when my speaking went down, I was like, ah, this is, that's not good. I spent this much time getting good. I better, you know, fix this shit. So I went back and listened pretty, you know, put a few hours in every day for the next two weeks and spoke a heap. I was completely back and then way better than I ever was. And I was back on that kind of upwards trend in my speaking. But, you know, that experience I just had before on the phone just kind of made me think, I haven't really talked too much about like your language abilities dropping and falling, you know, dropping and going up and all things like that. So I thought I'd talk a bit about that today, you know, triggered by that experience I had on the phone talking to my friend in Japanese. And so, yeah, it's just a bit of a reminder, you know, you got to be careful like to maintain your language, language abilities, even when you take a break, especially if you're learning another language like I am with Slovak. That's when you really start to notice that your abilities will drop because you're so focused in on another language. You know what I mean? Like when you're focused in on that, the second language you've learned, now you're learning a third language, will drop pretty significantly if you don't pay attention to it. But yeah, as I was saying, even if it drops, it's kind of like muscle memory, you know? Say you like lift weights and you get an injury and you lose a bunch of muscle. It'll come back way quicker the second time than you got, it took, you know, the amount of time it took in the first time to get it initially. So even if your language ability drops a little bit, don't freak to out too much. It's pretty easy to gain it back. And you can just do it through the same way you got it in the first place, just listening more and things like that. So I just want to make this video to remind you that if your language ability does go down a bit, don't worry too much. You know, it happens to everyone. It's a completely normal thing. It's just a natural part of learning a language. So don't freak out if it goes down. Just keep, go back, work on it, and it'll come back and it'll be better than ever. So don't, don't worry about it too much. But I just wanted to cover this topic, you know, in a real quick video here, just because I feel like I've never really talked too much about this language attrition and stuff. Of course, there's, you know, in-depth ways you can kind of like, you know, get get rid of this language attrition, like minimize it. However, I feel like all you really need to do is be in contact with the language and speak it and do things like that. And that's enough. You don't need some like elaborate way to maintain it that's super efficient or some bullshit like that. Just keep in contact and you'll be right. And if it does drop a bit, don't freak out too much. It's completely normal. But yeah, that's, that's all I really want to talk about today. Just share that experience and all that. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks.